hi guys welcome back to my channel this is jessica if you are seeing my face for the first time welcome thank you for stopping by please remember to subscribe to my channel leave a comment like comment share you know all those things you usually do thank you so you guys today we have a guest on the channel i'm sure you are like who is this pretty girl this this fine girl i call her fine girl this fine girl on this channel so you guys this is naya naya eze she's a youtuber obviously naya, naya introduce eze. yourself okay. Hi guys, you're welcome back to Jessica's channel. My name is Nanya Ese and I film really nice vlogs, mm -hmm. beauty, lifestyle. Head over to my channel. Subscribe Please to her channel, to you guys. Nanya is a vibe. Subscribe to her channel if you haven't. We filmed a video first on her channel before this one. So yes. I'm sure the videos will both go up at the same time. So if you are seeing this video, when you are done watching this one, please head over to her channel. Own, I will leave yeah. her channel name on the screen so you guys will go and subscribe and watch our videos. Today's video is going to be a very fun video. It's going to be a Q&A, something to make people laugh. Nothing too serious, just random questions. We don't even know our questions. Like she does not know my questions. I don't know her questions, but we're both going to be answering random questions, a Q&A basically. Yeah. So if that's the kind of video you like, please sit back and enjoy. So guys, we are going to be starting with me because I'm the guest on the channel <laughs> and I'm, yes, the guest. Go on, eh? I want to hide it so that you know. Nah, yeah, it's not an exam. <laughs> okay. What was the last lie you ever told? Hmm. Last lie I ever told. Yes. Can I remember? I don't used to lie. Like, I don't used to lie again. Nah, yeah, I don't used to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last lie I told. There have to be something. Why would I lie? <laughs> Is it to my husband or to my mom? I can't Anybody. It could be your sister, your brother, your aunt, mom, dad. I need to think about it well. I don't have. Guys, so apparently Jessica <laughs> is not, a saint. I'm not a saint. She hasn't ever told me. I can't lie. remember the last See, lie. Me, I don't I'm the lie. Baddest, okay? I what was your last lie? What was the last lie I told? Okay, I think there was a time that my sister asked me for money. This was a recent. She asked me for money, then I lied. I said, ah, this are not so good. But I had to, I, but I just wanted to use it to buy something. I don't, I don't lie, you guys. I'm, I'm not lying. She's a saint. Like, maybe this is actually my last lie. Like, I don't lie, <laughs> but I lie. But I can't remember <laughs> my last lie. So the next question is, Naye, what was the most embarrassing day of your life? Okay, I have to think. Think, think, think. Oh yeah. The most embarrassing day of my life. Most embarrassing. Okay, I don't know if this is the most, but this is the one I can remember. Say it. So there was this time. Okay, so basically when I was growing up, I used to be the hot girl. Okay, in my mm. church. I used to be the hot girl. If I'm going to church, I used to do too much. Like my my top has to match with my scarf. Like my makeup has to be on check. I can like see. She's very I, extra, you guys. Very <laughs> whenever extra. I'm going to church, everything has to be perfect. <laughs> so I wore these heels. I knew that the thing was shaking. I wore <laughs> heels that was shaking to church, but I'm like, it can't be that bad. And there's this like a slopey ground in the front of my church before like when everybody has closed and everybody just coming down from that sloppy ground and you know people are always like greeting each other after church and me i'm always this i used to form snobby i don't talk to anybody they're just looking at me like this fine girl doesn't talk to anybody and i was out going so there were some set of girls that it's almost like we I, I was in a competition with them so all of them were like looking at me and i knew they were looking at me you know these side mm. eyes that we all have but we don't know we have it i just knew that we were looking at me and that was the time i slided i felt like i felt that my skirt opened <laughs> and i was not wearing anything on that people saw your bumble people have been seeing your <laughs> <laughs> it was very embarrassing like i literally cried i just lost balance you know when you were like people are looking at me you're trying to be perfect mm. but then it just wasn't perfect i just fell the thing is your most embarrassing moment like is similar to my own Mm. <laughs> because oh, while you were saying it, mm. in fact, the first thing that came to my mind was something that happened to me in school. But then when you just said this one, I was not comparing. Mm. The, something like that has happened to me, and it was during my court wedding. If you've been mm. watching my videos, you mm. should know you watch mm. go down there and watch the six mishaps <laughs> that happened during my wedding. <laughs> so my heel broke the same thing during my court wedding. After I find my name broke like break rather, it was just, just shaky. Hmm. Just lost this balance. one broke, and it was a new shoe. I just got silver heel like this and i was forming how did the heel break i was just 
I just sat down. It was not like I was walking. No, I sat down like this and just put my leg at the front. And before you know it, the heel just it come and the thing is, it did not just break. It broke and it flew to the front. And I was at the front and people were looking at me like everybody just saw the heel flying <laughs> and making noise. You can imagine. Oh See, my God. And I had to stand up and go and pick it. Jesus Christ. And they were so embarrassing for me. Would you choose, I don't know, but would you choose a vagina or a CS bet? <sighs> this question, I feel like it needs an entire video because... Yes. Truly. See, I gave birth through vaginal delivery, and I gave birth through CS. So we have like different well, answers. It that. was it was too painful for me. I've been saying it that my next baby is going to be CS. I've been saying it because I can't go through that thing again. But then when I say it, people be like, "You've registered giving birth through True. vaginal Why delivery." Why do people always say that? Just don't go for CS, do this, do yeah, that. Yeah, me too. You're always like, you're still with CS, can just continue. But I feel like if I'm going to go through that kind of pain, because I still went through pain because I had episiotomy, so mm -hmm. I feel like it's still the same thing with CS, mm -hmm. like it cut and stitch you. So I feel like I just need to walk to the theater and just, you know, take pictures <laughs> before I give birth and then they just bring my baby out. I feel like that's way easier. I of going through labor for hours. See, that's it. It's too painful. Which one would they you don't prefer? Discuss. See, me, I prefer CS. So. But I'm you've had CS or twice. you've had... Okay, you've I've, never had vaginal I've never had vaginal. I was close to, I was at 8 cm, but I didn't. Why? It was so painful, I couldn't. Okay, I couldn't. so you went through labor, I went through labor basically. I'm happy to hear that I actually went. That thing is too painful. Very painful. I beg. I, I couldn't. I was like, no, no, come and get the baby out. They were like, oh, you're at 8 cm already. Actually, they didn't tell me. Actually, it was later on that we knew. I was like, okay, if I had known, I'd have actually just had Waiting. patience and give and give birth to the vagina bed, but I didn't know. That's another gist for another day. Exactly. Is there anything you would change about yourself if you could? What would you change? Okay. Yes, there is. If there was something I could change about myself, is I want to have a larger hips. Okay. If I Jesus wanted to do my body, of which I would never at this point, I would love to have a larger hips and a more tinier waist. Hips? My hips What's is, wrong with your I have hips? hip dips, okay? And it sometimes makes me insecure. And okay, I need to have a fine. smaller. If waist. you say tiny waist, okay. I would get. But like tiny waist. Like this hips is already. There's no hips here. Hey, not my hands. I'm just joking. There's no hips. There's no hips. So you, what would you like to change about yourself if you could? Not physically, nothing. Because I like myself. I'm mm -hmm. a fine girl. I'm just I'm a fine girl. So <laughs> if there's anything I would love to change about myself is the fact that I get very angry easily. Okay. Like I, I can vex. I can vex. Though it has reduced since I got married, but. Sometimes I just want people to do something to me and I just walk and pass like the way my husband does. <laughs> For me, I'm like, I just get angry easily and I would like to change that. I'm working on it and I've improved, I guess. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Have you ever been jealous and why? Jealous? Yes. Very well done. Okay. Do you mean like I've been jealous not just relationship wise, even no, for your things? Yes. Can yes. you give us two jealous moments of yours? There are no like moments, moments. I have to think about <laughs> this thing because I know I'm a jealous person, but if I now thinking of it, my husband has not actually done anything that will say I was jealous or mm, being with a, a girl friend. or a friend. Mm. Mm -mm. But then. I have this friend. I don't like when I'm friends with somebody and like she's friends with plenty other people. Like a girl, I used to get jealous. Can I talk now? <laughs> that is me. Okay? If you're my friend, you're my friend. Exactly. Don't come and have other best friends. Yes. How can, okay? how can you be my best okay, friend so and let then me you have give other best friends? I have this friend. Actually, we're supposed to be best. We are best friends. Okay? But of lately, she has like other friends. I mean, she's just me and she's just like oh i have this friend i'm mm. like oh you have new friends but she knows that i am like that okay i have so a friend that's like i'm that. jealous when it comes to friends i don't even like see i'm just a person if i, I can't have, share i thank you i, I don't, don't like to share. share my friends if i had this friend let me have this friend if i had mm -hmm. this friend no we problem. can I all can't be friends yes, so we know yes. that it's two of us 
basically i've been jealous before but this is just random my elder sister when we're growing up actually up to now yes don't squint your eyebrows <laughs> she literally just squint her eyebrows for me i was here when you want to see my elder sister is very intelligent book wise so when we're growing up i'm like mm. i always wanted to be as good as she is but see I've never picked up my book to read when I was younger. Read. We don't used to read this. When you get to university, was... you learn how to read. <laughs> no, my sister was reading. There are she some tools that are like that, Sha. She very, very, very intelligent. I'm like, God, it was annoying me, but at the same time, I wanted to be her. I yeah. wanted to be her, but she never knew. Like, Is that never, jealousy never... or will I say admiration? You wanted to be like her, well, no? Yeah, basically, like... yeah. So it's almost like I was. Except when your parents. Her. But like... I was jealous at the same time because my parents, mm-hmm. my dad, most especially, used to put it in our face. Can't you be like a Maka is reading? Are you are here? When you and your partner disagree, what do you do or say to resolve it? Okay. Hmm. This one. Whenever me and my partner are probably disagree or when we misunderstand each other, basically, what I do is first things first, I have to watch my tone because tone changes everything. You can be trying to say something nice, but your tone is high and it doesn't just look <laughs> nice. So I watch my tone first, then I just take a deep breath and try to talk to him calmly and, um, you know, I just remind him about the better days. That will be ahead because most times we always talk about how our life used to be so easy and fun but of lately we've come to understand that we can actually still have that fun it's just whatever we're going through now is just temporary so we just remind ourselves that there are better days ahead and then we just calm down try to talk about whatever the issue is and we squash it then probably we do things and hmm. <laughs> On my channel. <laughs> in my own case, mm. when me and my husband like disagree, I can't really say there is a particular thing we do to resolve it because it depends on the kind of argument. Mm, yeah. There are times when we just we just let it go. But like I said, me, I carry things in my mind. They mm-hmm. carry things for head. <laughs> but my husband is the kind of person that lets things just yeah. slide. Mm. So <clears throat> most times we talk about it we just sit down and talk about i'm like i don't like this thing you did him will be like he doesn't like it now i'll just mm. work on it and just move forward what is the most fun thing you've ever done this question i'm not fun i'm very boring like very very boring well thank god you have me because me i'm not boring like i can't see <laughs> i'm very boring like i don't like to go out i don't like to do many things that like things that Fun to me mm. is like spending quality time. Yeah. Fun to me is not like chilling, just going out and just playing and just things like that. Fun, my interpretation of fun might just be sitting down with my husband and watching TV. It might just be me with my friends, we sit down at home, cook together, mm. laugh, chill, Netflix and chill. So, mm, I the most fun thing I've done would be going out with either my husband or a friend or something. <laughs> Nothing serious at all. So me, hmm, hmm. you, <laughs> that, everywhere, that, do you have that, <laughs> Literally, I've gone to like everywhere. Like when I was not married, like I used to be really, really super fun before children came. Children actually like reduced my fun. Normally. Just told me, oh yeah, calm down, okay, sit down and take care of us. <laughs> That's basically how it is now. But when I was a single person, see, I love adventure. I love anything. I love to do that with friends, okay, but... I didn't have much friends. I have just this one friend and we're still friends. We're still besties up to today. So I don't really keep a lot of friends. I recently just met Jessica and yeah, so she's a vibe. I like her already. We're already YouTube besties. Yes, YouTube besties. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so what would I say I've done for fun? Go out. Yes, I go out. I chill and I make sure I make the most of it when I go out. It's almost like... I'll be like right now do when I'm not yes I want to do everything bam, like let me do everything before I'll go back you understand so the next question is what makes you feel most loved what makes me feel most loved mm-hmm. okay I love attention okay when you give me all the attention in the world it just makes me feel um, like <laughs> it's not just with my partner and as a day. friend I feel like I'm this type of person mm? Like if I should call you, probably there's something that you did that I did not like, Jessica. But you explained so. What did I do, Jesus? No, 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 my dear, offending you. 
I called you and I said, did you busy the call when I called you no. that time and you said your phone was low? No, it was on um, but did WhatsApp you busy, corner. Did you no, I did not busy it. It rang. Oh. Okay, yes, I did. And I oh. ended it and I said, my battery is low. I'll call you back. Ha ha. Nee, yeah. <laughs> See, I See we're already first. fighting. <laughs> I take this personal like that. <laughs> Are you okay. serious? Yes. But my battery was low. Okay, I was supposed to pick the call and tell you my battery was low instead of ending yeah, the call. Yeah. Okay, no thanks. So I felt offended when she Jesus did that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I felt yeah. offended. Yeah, what's that mean? <laughs> I don't think this so is like, like what? Like, why would she do that? But anyways, <laughs> I just feel like whenever I call you, you should be there, okay? Like, why shouldn't you be there? Like, I'm always there. I'm that friend that you will call and I'll pick your phone call immediately. If you need me, I'll be there, okay? Not so, dead. Not <laughs> dead. So, Jessica, what makes you feel most loved? Quality time. I'm a quality time person. You know how they say they have five different love languages? Yeah. My love language, the first one, it's quality time like i spend time with me like i'm always on my husband's neck just just stay at home with me okay I'm let's like, go true, out just spend time with me just like said i love attention just just be there sha let me just be seeing your face even if i'm not doing anything let's just, let me just be looking at you and seeing you so that's basically it friendship wise i would say because friends don't always like spend quality time with each other like that so I think it's you just being a friend basically always checking up on me there are times when i go through things i don't like to tell people many yeah. things but i have this friend that is always always like her instinct to just tell her jessica is not fine let me call her like and it means a lot to me throughout my pregnancy when i was not posting she was always calling me always checking up on me every day like that makes me don't buy me anything just just Does be she a watch friend this video? basically Does she, watch she watches Anita. Aww. Anita, I know you're you a great friend. <laughs> Thank you for being a great friend. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. So Jessica, how would you describe marriage for you? Marriage for me, like my marriage. Yeah, like how is marriage or going? General, okay, marriage is is okay, it's fine. Though marriage, <laughs> uh, no <laughs> beans. <laughs> There's like a huge difference between marriage and dating, but marriage is fine mm -hmm. i feel like if you if you guys can talk about anything you will be fine basically how about you okay me hmm. <laughs> marriage is great it's going well but there's ups and downs it's not perfect Definitely. but we keep trying and you know it's going especially well especially with kids uh, like, she has when a kids young come, baby i have a baby as well so yeah so sometimes it could be you know overwhelming sometimes and you know you just we just then to talk about it, take a deep breath, rest, do what you can. Before the baby came, rather, there was you. You have to take care of yourself. You have to be okay. You have to be sane for your child to love you and, you know, and for you to even love that child. It's only a sane mom that can take care of your child. Take care of your child, basically. So, so you guys, with that, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Nair's channel, Nair Easy. Head over to our channel and watch the first video we filmed. We have a very fun and interesting, in fact, impactful and informative video on her channel. Subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to my channel. So many of you are watching but you are not subscribed. Why? Please help this oh, girl. Help me. <laughs> subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.